Sixth grade, module one, lesson 27, classwork. Example one. Solve the following three problems. Write the words percent, whole, or part under each problem to show which piece you are solving for. So 60% of 300 is equal to what? We know that 60% as a fraction is 60 one hundredths. And we know that we're trying to find 60% of 300. So 300 is the whole. We're trying to find what part of that that's equal to. So we're solving here for the part. And what's nice about this is we don't need to do any reducing because I know that's 100 times 3 is equal to 300. So all I need to do is 60 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So 60 times 3 is 100. 80. So the part would be 180. The next one says 60% of what is equal to 300. So now we have 60 out of 100 is equal to 60% of something. So we don't know the whole here. The denominator. We don't know what we're trying to find out of so 60% of something is equal to 300. And again, 60, we don't need to reduce because 60 times 5 is equal to 300. So all I need to do is 100 times 5 is 500. So the whole here would be 500. And then 60 out of 300 is equal to what percent? So we're trying to find the percent. And 60 out of 300 is equal to what? A percent is always out of 100. So now, since it got smaller, we're going to be dividing. 300 divided by 3 is equal to 100. So 60 divided by 3 is 20. So this is 20%. How did your solving method differ with each problem? So our solving method differed because it depended where we were going to put each part, whole, or percent in either the numerator or the denominator. So I'm going to say, let's say for the first one, when solving for the part, we found the missing number in the numerator remember that's right there the numerator and for the whole we were looking for the denominator right there. That's how we found 500. And for the percent, we needed to find the numerator because we knew The denominator was 100. Exercise. Use models such as 10 by 10 grids, ratio tables, tape diagrams, or double lump or line diagrams to solve the following situation. Priya is doing her back to school shopping. Calculate all of the missing values in the table below, rounding to the nearest penny, and calculate the total amount Priya will spend on her outfit after she receives the indicated discounts. Okay, so she's getting shirt, pants, shoes, necklace, sweater, and it 
they either give us the original price or they give us the discount and we need to figure out the rest. So let's start with the shirt. So we know that she gets a 25% discount on the shirt. So that would be 25 out of 100. That would be equal to her original price. So the whole price on the denominator is $44. We don't know the numerator. So tw we can't easily get from 100 to 44, so I'm gonna need to reduce. I know 25 hundredths. 25% is equal to 1 fourth. So I'm gonna change this to 1 fourth is equal to what out of 44? And now I can multiply. So four times 11 is 44. So 1 times 11 would be 11, so the amount of the discount is $11. The next one is pants. So the pants, she's getting a 30% discount. So 30 out of 100. And the amount of the discount is $15, so this time we know the part, we don't know the whole. And I need to, don't need to do any reducing because when I look at the relationship between 30 and 15, I know I just need to divide by 2 to get to 15. So if I divide by 100 by 2, I'll get 50. So it was originally $50. All right, shoes. 15% discount, so 15 out of 100. And the amount of discount was $9. So we know the part nine we don't know how much they originally cost i can't get from 15 to nine so i'm going to reduce 15 one hundredths i can divide them both by five 15 divided by five is three 100 divided by five is 20. so i'm going to try it as three twentieths and that i can do so three times three is nine 20 times 3 is 60, so the original price would be $60. And let's do the necklace. So the 10% discount, which would be 10 one hundredths, and it, the original price is $20. We want to know the discount. Now I can get to 100, 120 by dividing by 5. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 5 and I get 2. So the discount was only $2. And then the last one, the sweater. So it was a 20% discount, 20 out of 100. And we don't know the original price, but we know that the discount was $7. So I can't get from two to seven very easily, or from 20 to seven, but I could, if I made it two tenths, that's still, is a little tricky. So I'm trying to think of something that I can easily get from set seven to two. So I know that 14 would work. So I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna multiply them by seven. Seven times two is 14, and seven times 10 is 70. So I'm gonna use 17, four, 14 seventieths and make that into seven out of something. So now there's a relationship I can work with. So 14 divided by two is seven. 70 divided by two would be 35. So the sweater was originally $35. So there are many other ways to do this. You could have used uh, double line graphs, tape diagrams. I chose to use the equations.